Hey guys, it's day 713 and we're doing back and buys. Okay on this? Honestly. I try to make sure I'm not doing anything wrong. So I try to keep I try to keep good posture uh -huh. and then I'm just going to drop me down kind of towards my chest, right? Like this. Yeah. So try to really not really try to put tension here. Going down. Like down like this. Okay. Um check out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, like that. Okay. Oh, I mean, I did know, but okay. I was just curious if I was doing that exercise correctly. Yeah, that's where I struggle the most, like at the bottom part. Yeah, I know. Because, like, honestly, sometimes I feel like my lower, like, I know it's probably not meant for it, but my lower back doesn't really get activated that much. TikTok is sending me that. So, we're the worst one. Yeah, that's so funny. He's like so happy too. He's like, I don't know if it's the angle, but I was like, damn. Yeah, bro. Honestly, though, when we went to Pontiac, it was like, man. Oh, yeah. Well, that was, like, that was I think I've seen some, like, I don't know. I've never really seen that many people like yeah. that. And there was like some exception. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that was weird. Yeah, this scene has ordinary. Yeah. That was weird. What's in the water? Is that in the water? Oh gosh. Yeah, me too. Sometimes, like, I don't know, it doesn't hurt in the right places, I feel. Like, maybe I'm doing it properly, I don't know. Because, like, I don't mind that exercise, but I feel like other back exercises, maybe it's not meant for it, my lower back gets activated a lot more. That's not more meant for, like... Yes. Yeah, because this is more just lats. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 
But even so, maybe I'm doing it wrong. Sometimes I feel like, like, like by coincidence, I always also kind of get, I don't know, do you get a little bit up here too even? Like sometimes I feel like, yeah, I get it's like, like mostly up. it's up, okay, yeah. so it's meant to go up here, okay. Yeah. Uh, Rose? Do you do those? Do you, do you want to do this and then do you want to do dumbbell rows or do you want to do two curl variations? Or is that going to do paper curl? I don't know. Uh, I don't know what we're supposed to do. Whatever you want to do. Dumbbell rows? Okay, so these dumbbell rows and then just the curls? Yeah. Okay, sure. I try 20 and then if you want, you're not in the wrong. Rather than have that 45 on there, you can get it off there. Oh man, today is nice. I got a lot of work done. And you ever like get stressed out about something, but then you actually get close to it being done, and you're like, helped me with mindset recently is yeah. and a lot of people say this is probably negative but nothing matters you know what I mean everyone's kind of thought about yeah. like at the end of the day nothing matters dude really nothing you know what I mean it's like everything we do doesn't really matter yeah. we're all gonna die one day yeah some of us are remembered some of us are forgotten and some of us only remember temporarily you know what I mean so at the end of the day you just gotta do what you want to do you know what I mean and if things don't work out you're gonna figure something out. It's like your life's gonna be over. It's always something else. You know what I mean? So it's like, I don't know, I guess I'm trying to get better about not worrying about shit, because at the end of the day, it doesn't fucking matter. You know what I mean? It's spinning rock right now. Like, like some people say like, oh, you know, that it kind of defeats, you know, it makes you have a lack of purpose, but I feel like it takes a weight off your shoulders in a way, you know what yeah, I mean? Too. That's how like, I feel, yeah, that's how I feel, right? Like, why put so much pressure on yourself for something that doesn't matter? Yeah. What does it matter if I uh, made a mistake and then, you know, I get fired from an insurance company. Like, is that the end of the world? Yeah, right, no, yeah. not at all. Like, when you get really close to, like, I don't know, our nature and what we're meant to do, no, no, none of this stuff mattered before, too, right? And, I, and a lot of times, I feel like we get pretty far away from nature, and that creates opportunities for anxiety or all these other things oh, yeah. to happen, you know what I mean? So, I guess, it, I guess what I'm trying to say, I don't know, that's been helping me just kind of think like, man, none of this really matters, man. I just gotta enjoy my time here. It's not forever, right? It's like, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
remember for a while there, I was super stressed and like, stressful. Uh -huh. Well, looks like we put ourselves in this, this like stressful environment where we're just worried about money and yeah, um, you know, doing the right things, but a certain schedule, leading the norms. Mm -hmm. In this age, we're supposed to be married, blah, blah, blah. It's kind of funny. It's like... Honestly, like, we're worried about all these things and stuff. When motherfuckers back in the day probably didn't live till they're past, like, 30-something, you know? Yeah. They're just worried about living. Worried about tires. You know? And it's like, man, like... I don't know. We were never really meant to worry about this stuff, so... Yeah. But I watched a clip yesterday. Both of the uh, chimpanzees are, like, fighting each other. Yeah. And it's all about, like, uh... Like, who's the leader of the pack? Yeah. And, like, who's trying to take over? Yeah, this is like a constant back and forth. And it's like, yeah, we probably did that back in the day. Oh, 100%. 100%. We have some tribes. I was listening to like an interesting podcast today. Like, it's a little bit alternative, but whatever. But talking about like how, and I don't, I don't really take this verbatim what the guy said, and I don't know if they literally, but like. Uh, he said something along the lines he thinks the human population is going to be extinct in a few hundred years. Yeah, Which, I don't really know if it's 100%, but I guess it was just interesting the ideology behind it. How reproduction has been like a lot it's a of... a decliner, yeah. 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 And obviously there's external factors that might be inflicted in that, like low libido because of lifestyle, or maybe like, uh, I don't know, eating habits and stuff like that, or... You know, just the way the way we live now, but like, I don't know. I guess it's just kind of interesting to think. That's the thing. I don't think it would be extinct from like reproduction. Yeah. I think it'd be um, extinct from like killing. Yeah. Do you think so? Like uh, wars and like nuclear shit. Oh, possibly. Oh, I think that's a lot fair. I don't really know exactly what his. Uh, yeah, well, I, I definitely agree with that point too. I don't really know what his hundred percent stance was. If he was exclusively talking about. Um, you know, like reproduction and stuff like that. Like, but yeah, oh, I totally agree. Like, we were living in a world full of conflict, you know what I mean? Yeah, all the time. But like, the population decline, that's for sure. Oh, I, I can agree with that. Yeah. I'm pretty sure in Japan they have a bad problem. Like, people are not, hmm. like, couples are not getting together. Or, like, there's not the couples forming. Yeah. It's a virtual girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I know it's sad, but what's the solution? Like, and I know some people, this is like getting out of the rabbit hole, I don't necessarily agree with it. They say the government wants us to die and stuff like that. And sure, maybe, I don't know, I'm not saying anything. But like, let's say even if they wanted us to stick around, how, what's the solution to overpopulation? Um, like, what, what, what if, it, what, what if, okay, well, so let's say arguably that the higher powers are trying to have an influence on, you know, how we reproduce, how much we reproduce and stuff like that. And they just completely said, fuck it, have as many kids as you want. Yeah. How would the world deal with overpopulation? Let's say instead of having eight, seven or eight billion people, we had 14 billion people. Yeah. Would it be a sustainable environment for people still? I don't know. Um, I'm not saying people deserve to die, but I'm just like, yeah. I'm curious how bad it is that people are having less kids. Yeah. Um, well, I think there's a bunch of like still land that's no, I've been like used properly. That's fair, okay. But then you also have to consider two more people, more garbage. Yeah. That's a ongoing issue we have. More resources. So it's just tough, like consumption. I'm not saying it's I'm not saying we should kill people, but at the end of the day, if there's less people, I don't really think it's ultimately ends up being a bad thing necessarily. Yeah. So if there are implements like restrictions implemented and stuff, sure it sucks, but <laughs> And this is interesting too. Supposedly, uh, and like I said before, I think it's the Green of Soul. I don't really know what trustful the soul or source this is. But the guy who was talking about like uh, how like our soul, you know, drive to our existence is to live. Yeah. And and well, in, in itself, reproduce too. But I guess it was just kind of interesting how the reproduction tied to the living. Because I guess he said we try to pass our genes on to kind of create a clone of ourselves almost in a way. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I guess in, in lots of genetic lines, science is inevitable. You're going to have to think of that. It's like 
almost exactly like you. Like I'm not saying like within a lifetime, but let's say within multiple lifetimes, maybe your great 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 grandfather had really close genetics to you, right? Yeah. And then maybe I guess in a way, reproduction can almost be a way of trying to clone ourselves. I know it's weird, but I don't really know how true that is. But I just thought it was a little bit interesting. I don't know. Yeah. It's funny because like I remember uh, at my old job I had this one guy I worked with. He, he's like Sam, you look exactly like my dad. Yeah. And showed me a picture of him. And you I was did? Like, Bro, it's me. Yeah. Like actually, yeah. It's nuts. It's like the face structure and everything. So man, you know, you wonder in a way, right? It's very interesting. Like you wonder down the line if honestly, maybe in some ways you inevitably have the same genes as some people. Yeah. Or even you look at Genghis Khan or something. I think he shares genes with 300 million people. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> I don't know how many people you had sex with or yeah, obviously really. I know they're like, you know, he's raping and stuff which is yeah. awful but it's like man, 300 million people have your genes. That's, that's crazy. It's an eighth of the world's population. Yeah. I think it's something somebody said. That's not I don't know if that's accurate. I mean, oh, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty crazy. Well, they have the Asian population. Oh you know, yeah. How big that empire was. No, oh, I know. It's funny how like, all these big empires come up and they all like, fall down. Yeah, I guess so. It's one of those things I feel like, I don't know, you can get big, but when you get too big, you have a problem and then you have to kind of go away. Yeah. And I'm sure the rest of the world, or maybe when you get big too, I don't know, there's more of an opportunity for corruption and conflict, I don't know. Yeah. But it is interesting we think something like Genghis Khan probably one of the most like the best fighters arguably and one of the most unstoppable forces in the world. Yeah. It's just like oh, it's not yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, water, like, yeah. Everything was like nobody could beat him. Exactly. What was this thing? Like just a bunch of horses? Yeah, I think yeah, yeah, I think I think that's what they specialize in. Like, yeah, like horse exactly. archers and stuff like that. Yeah. It's just kinda cool. Do something. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot me from like 200 meters away. Actually, was yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. He was horses. I could be wrong though. Maybe he wasn't archers, but yeah, I think horses. I think the Huns are specialized in horse archers, but yeah. Oh, yeah. I've always found Vikings really interesting too. They're pretty yeah, fucking cool. Crazy. Yeah, it's pretty interesting how they create like forts basically. Yeah. Yeah, the start of that. It's really interesting. Like I always liked it when like a civilization kind of figures something out that's really innovative, you yeah. know what I mean? And it stays with us forever. Yeah. Or even like that Michelangelo and stuff like that. Like uh no not Michelangelo. Who's the, who's that really smart guy? What's his name? Uh, like he invented, isn't there a bunch of physics stuff? He was good at math, he was good at art. In art of interest. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like something like that. Just think about his impact on the world. He's yeah, crazy yeah it's really interesting how he, was, he died so many years ago and like yeah. his name's still. I know, I know. It's like, you know, it, comes, it comes in a way like, I don't know, he'll never die in a way. Like, it's sure his yeah, physical right? form died, but I don't know. He made such an impact on the world, we still learn about him today. Yeah. Yeah. Who else is there? Uh, Isaac Newton. Isaac Gravity. Newton's a big one. Uh, Albert Einstein, in a way, too, I think was pretty yeah. innovative. Stephen Hawking, I think he's dead, but he was pretty smart, too. Yeah. yeah, I think so. I guess Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan's probably older than Da Vinci, I would guess. There's all those kings and stuff, too, but I've never really been into the, the kings as much. I don't know why. Yeah. Well, they, they think they're not as, as influential. They're guys are influential in a different way. Yeah, I think it's probably like we remember the bad ones yeah. more, right? Well, it makes sense. Like, all the bad news makes the headlines and stuff like that. And all the Yelp reviews, probably, arguably, I don't know, people feel more inclined to leave a review when it's like, let's say if I least them more angry, I'm more inclined to be like, fuck this place. Yeah. And I've had a pretty decent time to be like, oh, it was okay. Yeah. It's always like, fuck. I don't know. That's true. I know for me, if I have a really good experience, I'll yeah, I will. a good review. Me too. I me like too. doing that. Like, I, I, I did it for my dentist. I mean, other than that, so far, I think he's doing a really good job. I like him, so hopefully my jaw turns out good. Yeah. What is the last one? I think it is. Yeah, it is.
Girls for the girls. Is it like go and die? <laughs> yeah, literally. Not that fun. Yeah, what for your magic climbing trees and shit? You monkey kid. Yeah. Great upper body strength. Yeah. It is kind of interesting to think how much DNA we share with chimpanzees and stuff like that. It's like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Actually. Like, I just, like, I'm under the impression. And people might, you know, religious people out there might disagree and whatever, I respect their opinion. Mm -hmm. Like, how could evolution not be a thing? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, like, from monkeys? Yeah. Yeah. I kind of think, like, something uh, happened where yeah. we were, like, split from them. It must be a genetic mutation. Yeah. Because this is pretty interesting. I was watching this one show. Yeah. That was breaking down the, uh... Like the social behavior of the monkeys. Yeah. And uh, they did this thing where it's like they're watching the monkeys, and it was like whenever like a bigger monkey takes something from a smaller monkey, the smaller monkey is like, yeah, yo, what's going on? Like, what did you do that for? <laughs> exactly. And then they did this experiment in a in a bar. Where they had like a paid actor who's like really big. Yeah. And some guy's drinking a drink, the big guy just comes, takes his drink, and the guy's like, Yeah, it makes like, sense. with his hands. Yeah, I don't know. I like, think it yeah, makes it's sense. It's a cool relation. It's in multiple ways, too. Like, it's kind of interesting to see how compassionate they can be towards each other, how they yeah. stay in groups. Yeah, the their group fine thing. motor skills are interesting, too. It's like, I don't know. I just think it's pretty convincing for me, at least. Yeah, those like I don't know if it was chimpanzees. Yeah, chimpanzees or orangutans, whatever they were. I think chimpanzees are jacked. It's like man, skin tight to her. <laughs> After you're too tired. If you're too tired, no big deal, man. Uh, you, you're, your plans are yeah. Oh, no worries. Okay, yeah. let's figure it out. Okay. Man, I, was, I saw this funny post. It was like, who would win in a fight? One monkey or one chimpanzee or three times uh, the UFC heavyweight? <laughs> it's like for this chimpanzee, probably. <laughs> yeah. It's like yeah, one one chimpanzee versus the three. Uh, yeah. Three multiples of it's a heavyweight. Oh, like three v one, and the yeah. two they'd say arguably would still win. No, it's just like who oh. would win. Oh, probably three, right? I don't know, because it's like, yeah, because sure you could like coordinate and find a way to like exploit him. I think I don't know. Yeah. But it's like, can you really hurt it? You can be smart, but if three people are attacking you at once, unless you're like a gorilla, I think I see a gorilla being like, fuck you, yeah. but like. I don't know, maybe it was a gorilla. If it was a gorilla, I think the gorilla would win. It was, it was like the really big one, so I think it was Yeah, a gorilla, because like, I think it'd be unstoppable. I think it'd be a monster. Yeah, that's it the would... thing, because like, I'm wondering, can you really hurt it? No, it weighs a ton. Here. It probably weighs more than a ton. Yeah. <laughs> probably. I'm curious how tall they are. Like, with its like muscle density, like you yeah, punch dude. it, it's like... <laughs> what was that? Like, I'm going to check out how tall the gorilla. Good. 
because like the UFC heavyweight, I think he's like six something, two hundred and something pounds. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay, they don't weigh as much as I thought. Well, 400 pounds. Oh, wow. Uh, still. Uh, I think 400 pounds of muscle. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> oh, they're not as big as I thought. No? I thought the gorillas are as tall as me. Okay. They're like 1.8 meters. I'm taller than a gorilla? What the fuck? Wait, really? Yeah. I thought they were yeah, bigger. Yeah, they bigger. Damn, wrong. You need a certain tiny girl up. Really? Yeah, sure. some males have reached 600 pounds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look, let's see height. Yeah. I searched general, but I don't know what the biggest ones are, but... Yeah, it's not the same at all. Four to six feet oh, tall. Really? But is that they're not standing up straight? Yeah, I wonder, right? The tallest recorded was 1.95 centimeters, so almost two meters. But yeah, okay, I thought they were way bigger. I thought they were going to be yeah. like this. He's like, what's up, pussy? Yeah. <laughs> what's up? We just need to be here. He's like, what's up, bitch? I'm like, fuck. <laughs> but man, 400 pounds? Of just straight muscle? That's nuts. But still, I don't know. You'd think, like, they're like 400 pounds, I mean, they have to be strong. They're not fat, they have to be strong. Yeah. But then, yeah, see, that's, that's the thing, though. It's like, say you have three heavyweights punching him. Yeah. If he just swings once and, like, hits all three of Exactly. <laughs> and I, I got the thing with him, too, is him. he'd have no morals, either, too. Like, yeah. you know, for us, we probably, he'd probably try to gouge your eyes out or, like, do anything to kill you. <laughs> or, like, rip your arms or off. Or bite your face and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Or rip your limbs off. Yeah, that's true. Whereas, I don't know if a human being could rip off a, rip off a, a limb limbs or like that, yeah. I don't know, but... <laughs> Alright guys, let's day 713. See you tomorrow.